overall today, but a particularly rough day at the plate for Gary. What were you seeing from him this afternoon? Well, I mean, that's Tampa can do that to you. You're facing Snell. I mean, it can be, it's a challenge. So, um, you know, obviously a tough day for him and um, look forward to him getting back in there tomorrow behind the plate and uh, getting back after it. I mean, they're, they make it about as tough as anyone on you with what they're able to bring in from the pen and obviously with Snell going today. Because of the events of yesterday and how well your team has been playing when Luke Voigt leads off there with a single, do you have the feeling, here we go again? This oh, no question. Um, you know, you got that part of the order coming up. Luke has a really good at bat. Uh, Aaron gets him to 3-1. Um, so, yeah, you're definitely feeling like, uh, you know, we got a chance to do something there and you and you expect it. And uh, But they got us today and, and credit to them for, for making enough pitches. It was announced that the x-rays are negative for Tanaka. Are you at all concerned that's going to affect him on the mound? Well, we'll just have to see. I mean, that was, you know, that was brought to me later in the game, obviously, that x-rays were negative, so that was good. But we'll just have to see, you know, how he comes in tomorrow and uh, and how he bounces back here in these next next couple of days. No, he was he was done. Yeah, it got him good. Naftali. Uh, what, do you, what is the difference you see in Tanaka with the last two stars compared with the other? You know, he's he's been mostly good all year. Um, even in the outings where he struggled, if you look at him, it's just, you know, a stretch of batters that have gotten him in trouble or, you know, maybe one or two starts where he didn't have it, which is going to happen every now and again. I, I think for the most part, he's been pretty good. He's been kind of searching for that nasty split that he hasn't really had yet but he's been pitching really well and I thought again today the slider was such a good pitch for him the split was a factor um, and I thought he I thought he really executed with his fastball um, to really keep them honest he didn't make any mistakes with his fastball um, and and you know was really in command of that game uh, you know till till finally he had to come out so uh, another strong effort from him Coley to the right. Mm -hmm. uh, with Sessa having to go there in the 11th, um, how does that impact tomorrow? Uh, well, uh, we'll see. Um, I mean, that's something we'll meet on now and kind of figure out which way we want to go, um, you know, and, and see how much uh, how much uh, availability and length we would have out of Luis. So we'll talk about that now and figure it out. Randy, the right. You, you used all your high leverage guys except for Ottavino. I think he's only pitched... 24 pitches in the last eight days or so. Is he okay? Yeah, he's good. Uh, we're going to use him, you know, if, if there was traffic for those righties coming up at the bottom behind uh, Tommy. But once they tied it and there was no one on, felt like we didn't want to burn him there, you know. Uh, and then Tommy was able to get out of it and we we're lined up. And now, but no, no issues with Otto. Dan and Joel. Uh, then w why not go with him instead of um, Sessa? Because, because we're going to turn the game over at that point. Once we're through there, we're going to go Sessa. You start going to Otto, and then you got nothing, you know, following up that day. So we're going to ride Sessa there till the end and like the way he's thrown. Were you going one inning at a time because you do have an eye on tomorrow that you might need multiple guys to get through the game? Um, well, I, I mean, I don't. I mean, in a way, you're always going one inning at a time. Um, but we were comfortable once we got to that spot. Then we were gonna we were gonna turn Sessa loose and hope that he could, you know, pitch us a, f a few innings if we needed, um, if the score kept kept where it was. Um, so yeah, we were comfortable with with how it rolled out. Anyone else, Coley? Uh, how comfortable were you with uh, Aaron Hicks? going through the uh, the stop sign there. I think that was the sixth inning. Um, was that, you know, an aggressive right take, so to speak? Um, you know, obviously it was a pretty close play at the plate. I think the throw was probably a little bit offline that made it close. So uh, two outs, being aggressive there, obviously, you know, uh, an important run at that point. Um, you know, I think Phil made the right call and um, just something we'll kind of talk through and uh, didn't work out for us. Considering what you haven't had, what do you think, how do you assess how your starting pitching has done this so far this year? 
really good. Not talked about enough. Um, because, you know, even even when they've had shorter outings, for the most part, we've been in the game night in and night out. And it's because of our starting pitching. Um, you know, I think a lot of people, rightfully so, talk about, you know, our pen and all the young guys that come up and the different people that have come into the organization. But what's allowed us to consistently win ball games is, for the most part, we've gotten good starting pitching. Um, and and today was was another case of that. Anyone else? Thank you, man.